Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's see the next topic that is nitrogen rule and types of cleavages in mass spectrometry. These two are very very important topics which we need to understand to understand the fragmentation procedure. Let's see the first concept that is nitrogen rule. We are having different kinds of elements in the periodic table but nitrogen is the only element having the valency 3 and the mass number 14. 3 means what? It is an odd number or not? 14 is even number. So in the periodic table nitrogen is the only element having the odd valency and even mass number. Because of that reason, nitrogen element has the special focus with reference to the mass spectrometry. Okay, if you see the nitrogen rule, what it is saying? Molecules having odd number of nitrogens. The molecular weight will be odd. The molecular ion peak will be appear at odd m by z. So try to understand this particular statement by using a particular example. See this one. This is aniline. We all know that aniline molecular weight is what? 93. If you see the structure of the aniline, it is containing what? One nitrogen atom or not? It means the molecule containing odd number of nitrogens. Then the molecular weight will be what? Odd or not? See this? The molecular weight will be odd. If this one is subjected to the bombardment with electron beam at this much amount of energy, what is happening? We are going to remove a single electron or not? Thereby we will produce what? Molecular ion. If you see this particular molecule, it is having carbon-carbon single bond, carbon-carbon double bond and also n electrons, lone pair of electrons. So comparing with the sigma and pi bonds, N electrons can be easily removed or not. That's why what we are doing, we are removing one electron from the nitrogen atom. Thereby we are creating what? NH2 plus radical. This is molecular ion. If the molecule is having odd number of nitrogen atoms, the molecular weight will be odd number and the corresponding molecular ion M by Z will be odd. This is the what? First statement of nitrogen rule. If you see the second statement, in this what we are observing, molecules having even number of nitrogen atoms or no number of nitrogen atoms, then the molecular weight will be even. It means that what? We have a compound, the compound may contain nitrogen atoms, the nitrogen atoms are even or there is no nitrogen atom. Even number of nitrogen atoms or no number of nitrogen atoms. At that time, what can we observe? The molecular weight will be even. The molecular ion peak will be appear at even m by z. If you see this one, 1 to diamino benzene. In this molecule, what we are observing? Two nitrogen atoms are present or not? Two nitrogen atoms means even number of nitrogens are not. See the molecular weight. 108. So, if the molecule is having even number of nitrogen atoms, the molecular weight will be even. If this one is subjected to what we call bombardment, what is happening? We are getting the molecular ion. The molecular ion M by Z will be what? 108. It is an even number or not? If the molecule containing the even number of nitrogen atoms, the molecular ion will be appeared at even m by z. Okay. See the next example. This is toluene. The toluene does not contain any kind of nitrogen atoms. Absence of nitrogen atoms in the molecule. What is the molecular weight? 92. It is an even number or not? If this one is subjected to the Bombardment. What is happening? We are getting the molecular ion. Why? Because it is containing the pi bonding electrons. So one of the electron can be removed and produces the molecular ion. So M by Z appears at what? Even number or not? It means that what? If the molecule containing even number of nitrogen atoms or 
no number of nitrogen atoms the molecular ion appears at e1 m by z why because those molecules containing the molecular weight in the even number so this is about your nitrogen group this is very much helpful to identify whether your compound containing nitrogens are not if the compound containing nitrogen atoms even number of nitrogens are present or odd number of nitrogens are present so thereby we can deduce the structure of the compound so let's see the next topic types of cleavages in mass spectrometry already we had a discussion at the fundamental principle of mass spectra initially the sample molecules are bombarded with the high energy electron beam thereby we are getting the molecular ion the molecular ion is subjected to different kinds of cleavages commonly called as fragmentation what we are getting small small species those are commonly called as fragment ions okay during the fragmentation procedure what kind of cleavage we need to do for that purpose we are having a topic called as types of cleavages in mass spectrometry so what is the first type homolysis or homolytic cleavage we are all are familiar with homolytic cleavages the homolytic cleavage of any bond produces what free radical or not in homolytic cleavage what happens single electron transfer if you transfer only single electron what is happening we are going to get the radicals this is commonly called as homolysis or homolytic cleavage let's see one example here it is a olefin in case of the olefin what is happening the molecular ion is going to be formed by the removal of electron from the pi bond so from this pi bond we have removed one electron thereby we are getting what radical cation or not molecular ion or not now this molecular ion is subjected to further cleavage commonly called as fragmentation phenomena here what is happening see this one with respect to this pi bond this is alpha bond this one is what beta bond at beta position what we are doing we are doing homolytic cleavage the homolytic cleavage always produces what free radicals or not so what happens we will come up with hydrogen radical and ch radical so see this one hydrogen radical will be removed from this particular situation thereby here we are getting a radical or not so this radical and this radical can form a what pi bond thereby we are getting a positively charged ion or not the m by z is 41 we all know that mass instrument recognizes only positively charged ions that's why what happens it is going to be removed from the mass instrument hydrogen radical this is the what homolysis or homolytic cleavage in this way we can use the homolytic cleavage during the fragmentation phenomena see the next one heterolysis or heterolytic cleavage already we know that heterolytic cleavage is the two electron transfer cleavage so each and every bond containing two electrons both the electrons will be moved towards the particular atom so see this one in case of this particular a and b bond these two electrons are moving towards the b atom thereby what is happening the a atom will take the positive charge and b atom will take the negative charge two electron transfer cleavage okay let us see one example generally these kind of cleavages are observed in alkyl halides aryl halides alcohols thiols ethers etc take one example this is the alkyl halide we know that in alkyl halides we are having both sigma bonding electrons and the lone pair electrons so lone pair electro lone pair electrons can be easily removed or not thereby what is happening by the bombardment of electron beam we are going to remove one electron from the x thereby we are getting molecular ion here this molecular ion is subjected to the fragmentation what we are doing we are doing the heterolytic cleavage it means that what the transfer of these two electrons towards the x x is already having positive charge or not we are giving negative charge the positive and negative can be neutralized or not thereby what you will get x radical 
these two electrons moving towards x means the r will get what positive charge or not so the r plus ion will be observed by the mass instrument the x radical can be removed so in this way heterolytic cleavages are heterolysis phenomena used in the fragmentation process the last type of cleavage is what hemi heterolysis hemi heterolytic cleavages the name itself indicates hemi means of in heterolytic cleavages what happens we are getting both positively charged and negatively charged ions in case of hemi heterolysis what happens we will come up with one radical and one positively charged ion see this one this is the molecule the molecule is subjected to the ionization phenomena thereby we are getting what molecular ion now this molecular ion is subjected to hemi heterolysis in homolysis and hemi heterolysis the arrow is same fish hook arrow which arrow we are using fish hook arrow in case of heterolysis we are using curly arrow so now what happens see this one here we have plus and radical if you do the hemi heterolysis what will happen a plus and a radical it means that what we are observing one positively charged ion and one free radical such type of phenomena is commonly called as what hetero hemi heterolysis phenomena let us see one example this is the alkane in the last video we had a discussion how to cleave the bond this compound is containing carbon carbon bonds are not in case of straight chain compounds what should we do we need to create the molecular ion at the terminal that's why what we are doing we are removing an electron from this particular bond thereby we are forming a particular molecular ion now this molecular ion is subjected to hemi heterolysis see this one half arrow thereby what happens ch3 will be removed and ch3 ch2 ch2 plus <coughs> this ion will be observed in the mass spectrum if this one is further subjected to heterolytic cleavage heterolysis phenomena what will happen ch2 is having the positive charge we are giving the negative charge that's why it can be removed in the form of a carbene thereby what we are getting ch3 ch2 positive charge ch3 ch2 positive charge now this one is subjected to homolysis if you do the homolysis what happens h radical will be removed this plus and radical can produce radical cation it means that what in this particular example we are observing homolytic cleavages heterolytic cleavages and hemi heterolytic cleavages so in this way we need to use these three types of cleavages during the fragmentation process okay na so this is all about your nitrogen rule and types of cleavages in mass spectrometry